Good morning out there, Lombard family. That's right. It is Friday, March 11th, and it's the day we call High Five Friday, and it's also wear green to be motivated. Some of you might ask, why be motivated today? Well, March 28th is the day that we take our first round of the math IAR test. The IAR test is a test that is given to every single student in the state of Illinois, and it is to see how well students can again perform on a math and reading test. Uh, so all year, your teachers have been pushing you to get your MyPath minutes in, to read more books. They've challenged you to get on Think Circa and to write again using a claim and a bunch of evidence to back that claim up. And some of you probably sometimes ask yourselves, why? Why, do the st why does the staff keep pushing us? Well, this is one reason. So one reason is to try to give you the practice you need to perform on this test. It's kind of like, again, for some of you that are in sports, you shoot 100 free throws. And why do you shoot 100 free throws? So when you get fouled uh, at the end of a game, you can hit that game winner at the free throw line. So again, we are working hard to prepare uh, for this test. And so green is to remind all of us that it's coming soon. So if you have you, if you kind of see that your teachers are a little bit more intense or maybe they're trying to push through uh, to get through another page in the math workbook or uh, you feel like in science they're really uh, trying to again get some hands-on labs in, uh, I will tell you the staff want our students to do their best. Uh, so again, wearing green today uh, is to remind us all uh, what it means to be motivated to perform our best. And in order to perform our best, we do have to focus and we do have to practice, 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 and also show perseverance. When things get tough, uh, we need to learn how to push through. So again, Lombard students, we do have a tornado drill today, so I have to be brief here, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that we are getting pumped, uh, again, for performing uh, well on that IAR test. We do have a couple birthdays to celebrate, so let's get ready to sing our happy birthday song. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate your life today. We're glad that you were born today. What we don't mean today, you know what we mean, eh? Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate your life today. We're glad that you were born today. What we don't mean today, you know what we mean, eh? Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate your life today. We're glad that you were born today. What we don't mean today, you know what And we hope you have a very happy birthday. And now let's hear what's on the lunch menu for today. On the lunch menu for today, it is sausage pizza, corn salad, carrots, sliced peaches, and a chocolate chip cookie, and your choice of white or chocolate milk. Now let's hear some Lombard shout outs. All that shout out loud, stomp your feet to the ground. All that shout out loud, sing a bye to the cloud. We have some great shout outs again. We'll kick off with Mrs. Hunt giving a shout out to her homeroom for having perfect attendance. She said it's been a while, so she was thrilled uh, that all students were at school. Macy Goodman wanted to give Mrs. Hunt a shout out for being an excellent keyboarding teacher. And Erin Applin said, Mrs. Young, you are the best homeroom teacher. I know, we've got some students that are saying, no, my homeroom teacher. Uh, but again, I appreciate those shout outs. And now let's just wrap up announcements uh, with some positives. More time to learn and more time to play. More time for fun stuff every day. When we follow the rules at school, oh yeah. When we follow the rules at school, oh yeah. Lombard students, you've had a lot of behavior expectations thrown at you this week. I just want to remind all of us, uh, this would be a great day this week. If you've had a rough week to really uh, bounce back, uh, make sure we're apologizing to those individuals that we have impacted. Make sure we are taking care of our cafeteria by cleaning up after, after ourselves today. Make sure we're greeting adults with a positive 
attitude. And most importantly, I hope you're celebrating your accomplishments this week. It has been a challenging week, uh, and I hope that we can today have some fun uh, and make sure that we are growing and learning from all of our mistakes. I hope everyone has a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend, uh, and we will see everyone back on Monday. Again, Zephyrs, we all have the ability to be great, and most of it lies within our choices. I hope you make the right choice today. Go be great.